Good morning to all you wonderful people out there. Yeah, we hit 250. Actually, this morning when I checked, 252 subscribers. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. We love you all. And guess what? It's free to be a subscriber. So, if you're not a subscriber, hit that red button down there in the corner. It's free, it's painless. Just do it. in the line and uh, we're in the front of the line here with Gert VIP of Bush Gardens uh, and we, we still Neil she still does not have the key to get us in <laughs> what's up with that Neil I know you're watching Neil I'm sure you are so we are here it is um, roller coaster day is going to be on Tuesday and starting today we have roller coaster week where bush gardens is going to give us a brief behind the scenes tour of the roller coasters there is a, a showing a, a tour at 12 2 and 4 and they are going to give us behind the scenes tours of shikra cobra's curse uh iron Gwazi, and uh cheetah hunt also, starting yesterday is Beer Fest. And Gert, she's already tried some of the good foods, haven't you, Gert? Excuse me? All German food. See that? It, it's, it's Beer Fest and it's all German food, good German food. Uh, the uh, potato pancakes. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? That there was a whole bunch of good stuff. Don't forget to come out. Uh, Beer Fest goes till September 5th. So make sure you guys come out here to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. Until September 5th, we got Beer Fest. Try all the local beers, German beers, German food. You'll love it. And also, until this Tuesday, uh, the 16th, Roller Coaster Day. Make sure you get your behind the scenes tours. Also, past members, don't forget to pick up your Bush Bucks and also a free extra guest ticket for all of you Bush uh, past members. So come join us here at Bush Gardens. Have fun. We are at the entrance and um, we are now loading in on the left side. Look at that. They have a nice new uh, support structure there where they're gonna put something up there. And the work walls are up over here on the right hand side where they're gonna continue that structure all the way across. So we still have nice easy access nice shade for the security people when they are here um, but yeah they are still doing some work on the entranceway so uh, be patient with them it's gonna be fun uh, yes iron Gwazi. gators are playing nice this morning as we wait for the chains to drop or as they call it rope drop there he is being transformed we got hollow screen walls up all over the place nice hollow screen decorations
The penguins are actually out this morning. <laughs> First one that came for person ever come up. Uh oh. Yeah, there's our tuxedo birds. And more hollow scream areas. Well, we got two behind the scenes tours. Well, one behind the scenes tour for two people. So Maggie and I will be going behind the scenes of Iron Gwazi at four o'clock today. So being that it's hot and we're already here at the Serengeti outpost, who knows where, which, where, which way we'll be going. We may, I just heard Shikra, the sirens on Shikra and they also said clear the lift. So I think Shikra will be starting up pretty soon. We may have to go over there and get wet right away. All right, guys. If you look just beyond the elephants, you see that purple thing there? We are going vertical on Project Jethro. It's an SNS screaming swing. And yeah. It's getting vertical. We are here by the elephants right across from the animal care center. And there are some more hollow scream decorations over there for a nice little scare zone. And uh, now we are on our way. Hey, we actually caught this sign just at the right moment look at the shadow from the sign unlock the wonders of nature yep you have to catch the saying i guess in the morning hours to see that shadow just right Now entering in colorful Pantopia. I'm gonna check out Falcon's Fury. It hasn't been run in a couple of days now, so see if we can get a scoop for you. Guys, unfortunately, Falcon's Fury is down again for some essential maintenance. The question is, what could it be again this time? Yeah, beer fest. And look at this menu, Black Forest pretzel, pretzel bratwurst, and then beverages. Oh, we're here over at the Ubanga Banga bumper cars. And it looks like one of the, one of the bumper cars crashed through the wall. in one of those areas being transformed for Hollow Scream. Jangala is also another place that's working on being transformed. Oh, 
Yeah. They did not get away with the booty. Oh, look at our barrels of ale. Pirates are gonna be happy today. There it is, folks. And down they go. Up they go. And here they come. Get you cleared off a little bit and then once on the back and then we're all good i hope you guys can hear me i know this thing gets a little bit wacko when the water gets all over it but there we go now the behind the scenes tour on shikra does not take you up there so and the behind the scenes tour for the past members is actually just going to be at the coaster barn. There it is. There they draw. There they come. And here we get wet. Ah. That was good. Morning. That wasn't Charlie. Nope. Unless Charlie got long hair all of a sudden. Unless he's wearing a wig. Nah. I, I don't see anything here for the shortcut so yeah I don't think they're gonna be doing anything anything back there. Yeah, 
Oh, there might be something. I saw something over there. A good chance there might be something over there. I got wet. Why is it always me and not get wet? That's a good question. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, taking a little break here and Hello. we have Tampa J here. Bush Gardens Junkie, just met this guy, so nice, gave me some uh, behind the scenes info, maybe a little uh, hush, 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 hush here yeah. what's going on here at Bush Gardens, so. Uh, uh, keep it, keep it a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt, that's so right. it's the rumor mill. So right. yeah, that's, uh, we came here and always nice to meet uh, another YouTuber. Yeah, same here, always love, especially at Bush Gardens, this yep. is my favorite theme park, you know, oh, yeah. town. You, I'm assuming you guys live here, so. Oh yeah, I yep. Love it. Yeah, good to see you guys. Yeah, you too. Make sure you subscribe below to this video down yeah. here. <laughs> and, and subscribe to Tampa J too. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Tigris is down for the moment. Uh, they're working quickly to bring it up, guys. So. Yeah, I don't know. I know back there, somewhere, is a scare zone or a haunted house. Uh, they could be getting it ready for a scare zone. And the Zambia Smokehouse. Great place to eat. Oh. If you could just smell it. Cheese curds, marinated beef, pulled pork slider. There are scares around every corner. I have no idea what they're doing here. Could this be the cornfields and the scarecrows? That is some crazy stuff there. What do you think I'm doing? That reminds me of uh, your bird. Of, of uh, Chubbs? Yeah, Chubbs. Yeah, Chubbs looks to hang upside down like that too. One foot, look at that. Oh. He did a front flip. Watch where you walk. Yeah, watch where you walk. 
Hi. Hello. Hi there. Oh, that's pretty. Really? Is that so? Oh, that's so, that's interesting. <laughs> Very talkative. Oh, look at that one in there. You can escape that way, Safari. I, she's, I have literally no idea what she's doing. Yeah. She's like crawling on the ground. I know. She's oh, nuts. <laughs> that hard time. Safari, come here. Come here. She's like, no, nope, I ain't listening. Safari. <laughs> Nope. Well, we just finished up seeing our lorikeet friends. And we're coming over here by Sesame Street Safari of Fun. Where all the shadow people are. Got shadows all over the place. Unfortunately, it's daytime, so we can see all the shadows. Yeah, it looks like some a sound box, some lighting, and some netting back there like this just to hide people I believe beware the shadows looks like some more sound speakers and lighting looks like a Yoda shadow <laughs> you know, looked like it had the ears of Yoda Beer Fest is here every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Started yesterday, August 12th to September 5th. And Labor Day. We have our pink chicken friends coming up. Yeah. 
pink chickens with feathers all over the place. We can actually feed a flamingo. Go to the Animal Ambassador Insider Tour at Animal Connections and you can actually feed them. At the Coca-Cola stage, we have live music at 12.30, 2.30, 4.30, and 6.30. There's food scattered throughout the whole place. The first things I wanted to try was the potato pancakes. Comes with a side of applesauce and some sour cream. I don't know if you can actually see this, but the details they put in Beer Fest, I think these are hops. What they make beer out of. So yeah. Coming into the beer fest area, they got hops on the lights. Right down there, guys. Pass member lounge. Yeah, pass member lounge, and we're just chilling out because it's hot as ever out there. And then when we're done here, we're gonna go and sample more food. This year, beer fest is German themed. Howdy! What a wonderful German themed beer fest. Love the food. Yes, it is. Not all of them yet. Oh yeah, I know. They scattered them on us. Yeah. Spread the wealth. Exactly. Oh yeah. Thank you. Now, just before we get our behind the scenes tour, we're going to um, give a shout out to all 252 subscribers. We love y'all. It is a hot day here at Bush Gardens. And, uh, well, we were going to do something special for you guys, but unfortunately, nobody wrote down in the comments what they wanted to uh, see us do. So, I guess as a special, we'll give you some of the behind the scenes tour. But uh, yes, thank you. And uh, if you're not subscribed, it's not that hard. 
go ahead hit that little red button down there it's free it's painless and and yeah it helps us out Iron Wazi behind the scenes, guys. Oh, that thing looks good. <laughs> Normally you would go right to get on the ride, but we're going left. And right above us used to be the track for uh, either lion or tiger side, and not sure which. Which side was this when it was Gwazi? Uh, to our east side, this one was Oh, the line's over here. I thought it was over here. Okay. Okay. over there you got the footers you see a lot of the footers here of the original but yeah for the actual hill they put new
In other words, don't go beyond the black fence, otherwise they have to shut down the ride on us. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't this good? You got over here. see it got some hollow screen back there but yeah if you look at some of this wood right here you got darker wood that's the original wood and look like over here and uh, those are the footers right there some of them are used some are not. He got a nice little whole bunch there. And I'm sure that's extra wood for when they need to repair the structure. And then they got this beautiful, wonderful lighting package with a whole bunch of LEDs. I just informed here by Jahari that that wood right there is the original Gwazi wood. I'm sure it's still used for repairing iron guazi whenever they need to replace some of the wood. It's still good wood. Amazingly, being in the Florida sun and heat and, and the rain, <laughs> it's still good. Continuing our tour, safety equipment. I'm sure when they need to do evacs. That's mainly the maintenance stuff, so when they go up on their lips, they'll do their they use this equipment or when they have to go and replace pieces of wood that are high on they'll use this as well. Yeah, look at that safety equipment. They're making sure nobody is falling off of that lift hill. And look at that train number three sitting right there. They need to manually let us go. It's nice and air conditioning. <laughs> nice and air conditioning. Oh wow. Okay, this is my dream right there. The servers. <laughs> you guys aren't like, able to see our control panel just because of how small it is and we are operating. But if you guys look at this computer screen right here, this is actually what our panel looks like. Um, it is the active, anything that they're doing or changing is actually reflected um, right here. Uh, so you can see if the seats get locked, they'll turn green. You can see our track area so we know where our trains are at all times. Um, and then you can see like when we open up our seats, we press these buttons on the side and hit the panel to release it. Um, so yeah, this is, if you guys want to take any pictures, this is our panel that is up there right now. 
like lifts and main break time right um so it takes 47 seconds for the last train to go over the top and hit back into main break right here and you can calculate from the distance how fast she's right. going so once it gets up here once it gets to the top you'll see this reset to zero like that and then once it gets to main break it'll just tell you the new time um, you hear the speed um we can't see the speed only maintenance has access to that um but maintenance does keep track of it so they can that's the panel on the back. Petunia, Petunia, Tulip, and Daisy. Petunia, Tulip, and Daisy. Yeah. Um, this train will be put on once another train comes off. So only Iron Wazi can only operate two trains at once because we only have a lift and main rate and only one train occupy from there to there. Uh, so that's why we don't run three trains. Uh, so that is called block sections. That's a good close-up look. You got the guide wheels, ride wheels, and more guide wheels on the bottom. And that's uh, what they're talking about with the two. With the lap bar. Huh? Step. Step, yeah, no. You don't step on that. Yeah. This is just covering the wheels. Yeah, no. So. Yeah. Hmm. Did you see all the bolts they had in there? Yes, I know. <laughs> right there is the transfer area. Uh, 
Yeah, look at all these wheels. <laughs> what are the wheels made out of? Silicone. Polyurethane. And for a ride like this, you need that. Oh, yes. <laughs> How often do you need to change the wheel? Every other day? <laughs> yeah. These are the kicker tires. These are actually what move the train through the blocks, like main grade okay. transfer station. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold on this because it's really heavy, but I'm going to kind of get a close look at how it grips the train with the rubber stoppers. get this from down here right, so up there. Right over here, you'll see where <laughs> that slides back and forth. So they'll take that piece yeah. off, slide it, and then bring it down. Ah, oh the crane. Oh through there. And then they lay it on their track and then they yeah, tighten down, down the wheels. And then wheel it in here. So they'll do a maintenance all of the maintenance work in here. Oh when they take that off and then put that one on. Yeah. So did they put like one car on at a time? Most likely, yes, because I'm sure it takes a while because they got to put the train on and then they got to connect them together. Yeah. And how do you get it on the track with all the wheels on or do they have to take some so of the wheels off? The second track up there, you'll see the regular track, which is where you guys will sit. Right. And the second track over here, the second track doesn't actually have track. It's only supported by the up stop wheels. Oh. So that train won't be sitting on a track. And then that'll just transfer over, transfer over onto, and yeah. then you move the train onto the real. Oh, nice. Um, and this is actually the purpose of the train. If you guys want to take the six minutes. Ooh. Cobra Scripts didn't have enough space for their stuff. They kind of spring it in here. And this is one of the Cobra Scripts trains that are just huh. being used. <clears throat> you ever wonder about the Cobra's Curse train? That's what makes it go spinny, spinny. to live life dangerously. Did you guys see the wheels that have gone bad? No, I didn't. No. This is what it looks like when wheels go bad. Holy cow. Wow. When they overheat and go over so many times, they kind of, they do a blow up, like we just plug in over for wood. They blow out. So whenever we go down, it's probably because we have to replace the wheel. And, and these guys, 
they're pretty good. They can get that done in what, 15 minutes? Yeah, 15, if, if, they have their, if they're together, they can get it done in 10 minutes. It's like one person by themselves, it can take 15 to 30. Kind of just depends on how many times they've done it and kind of get yeah. used to it. Wow. And it you also, changed the them yet? Oh, I know. I'm not a maintenance worker. I just no. super bad. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do that. All I know, like the word wheels, uh, the bigger wheels, they take a while. Uh, just because I gotta jack the train up, take that <coughs> old wheel off, put the right. new one on. Ah. Um, but the main ones that we do have to change are the guide wheels, the ones that are on the inside. And you had to change those how many times? Um, maintenance. You uh, said about twice a day. Yeah. So, well, I mean, this like thing is are, this thing is really intense. This these, is, uh, these are brand new wheels. If you look over here, look through, these ones are like darker. Right. That's because they're actually burnt because of the how how hot the track is. Ah, oh, okay. So they change color. And after a while, after they've been used so many times, um, sometimes... Do you reuse the, the, not the, not this part, but do you reuse yes. that? They reuse the inside parts. They actually make their own wheels over here. Right. Um, so they just reuse these parts. I'm using uh, These are unfinished. Because okay. the middle part is not in there. Ah. So once they put the middle part in there, uh, they can then put this wheel on in the other two trains that we have. Lots of wheels, but like you said, you go through about two of them a day. Um, maintenance people do you have actually in the whole entire park you know in the whole park yeah so i'm not sure about the whole park i know we have three maintenance people that like work on our ride every morning um our afternoon maintenance is a little bit different they learn each ride so they're able to fix every ride um in the afternoon if it goes down versus our morning maintenance it is specified to a ride um, right. so it just depends um i think shikra has like three maintenance people as well a lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> so yeah, this is right underneath the transfer area. As you notice, right there is a braking run. And one of the maintenance guys right here. And all the electronics. We just found out from Jahari that uh, each one of these cars is a thousand pounds and they put six of them per train. That's a lot of weight coming down that steep 91 degree hill. No wonder why she hits about 90 miles an hour. You know me, Jahari. <laughs> They're right here. Some of the old footers. And yeah, we cannot go beyond the fence. But yeah, there's a lot of wood here. A lot of footers there. But that's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna stand right on one of these footers. Oh, 
Oh yeah. And that is Iron Gwazi. Off ride point of view from the center of the Iron Gwazi ride field area. I touched a piece of history. There's a nail from history. <laughs> hey, a nail from history. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at all the footers. There's a whole bunch of wood splinters all over the place. Hi, right, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed that tour. I thought it was quite interesting and informative. So, yeah. Iron Gwazi has a third train. And, uh, well, we saw it. It's all there. Ready to get on, put on the track. Yeah. We're ready to head home. Yeah. It's been a nice day. Don't forget to come to Bush Gardens. We got Beer Fest. We got roller coaster day coming Tuesday. We got the behind the scenes tours. And well, we got hotness. It's, it's very hot. So, but yeah, we're gonna be gonna call it a day. We had a, a behind the scenes tour. And uh, unfortunately, none of you guys made any suggestions about what we can do, but. I want to thank every single one of you 252 subscribers who knows it's probably up higher now <laughs> that thing keeps on climbing keeps on ticking up ticking up every day i look at it another new subscriber so keep up the good work guys appreciate all of you keep watching and stay happy